Hey you, it's Jess here and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a haul for you coming from my hotel room in Australia. <laughs> so I'm sorry it's a bit janky. It looks much better when I'm holding up things to the camera. So I'm doing the haul for you guys. I've got a whole bunch of stuff in the mail and I'm going to have timestamps listed down below in the description box so go check that out. But let's get straight into the mail. So the first thing I got were a couple of Erin Condren covers. Um, I just designed them myself from my clip art and um, I just made them like the size of the Erin Condren um, uh, covers. You can pretty much, I just sort of um, <laughs> measured this and this to make sure they're 300 dpi and yeah this is how I got this one with the birthday art. You can do this if you've bought my clip art as well. It's um, I'm happy for you to make your own covers. I did back and front. And then you just pick like an inside cover. So I just picked this pretty blue. So we got this one. This one doesn't have the best printing on it. I don't know if you can tell. It's not the best. Um, I feel like sometimes it's a bit hit or miss. These two, I got a second one. These two weren't as good as my last ones, but I'm still really happy with them. So this is the other one. Just take the camera and show you. So I really love this one. I got it on my planner, as you can see, using my Beach Please art. And this one's probably a bit higher quality. You just got this on the back. I just like having a little design here in the back. Um, and then on the inside, again, it is this blue color. But yeah, so those are the covers that I got from Erin Condren. Speaking of planners, I also got a Hobonichi Weeks. This is the Strawberry Latte um, cover, so it's just pink and it's not mega, so it's a smaller one. So it has a smaller amount of um, notes in it. And if you want to see how I've been using it, I don't plan to buy stickers, this is it. <laughs> This is how I've been using the spread. Oops, sorry, the air conditioning. Um, just writing stuff down with pen, it's super useful. I've got like meeting notes here and just events of the day and to-do list. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with it so far. It's just something really simple to have on hand. Uh, and the pen I've been using with it is Sarasa Dry, which you can get off at Jet Pens. Um, and it dries pretty much instantly. So that was the hobo I got. I, I have a little order here from Simply Gilded during her spring release. I just picked up three rolls. So I got the Dalmatian Spot. Sorry, there we go. Um, with the Champagne Gold Bows. Super duper cute, I love that. I picked up the Pink Gingham. I'm trying to limit how much washi I'm buying. Um, and also not filming this very well ah! <laughs> um, but I got the pink gingham but I didn't think I needed the blue gingham I don't know I'm trying to really like hold back on the washi these days and of course I had to pick up the purple polka dots it's just a really light purple with silver bows super duper pretty um, it's almost blue but it is purple <laughs> just one of those light purples I also got whoop, ah, I also got this bow. If you didn't know, I'm behind the camera right now, so this is very weird. I'm looking through the camera and doing this. And I got the journaling card for once. This went through my US address. Um, and sometimes I get rid of the journaling cards, but I got this one and it's really, really cute. So I'm happy to have it. I love all like the star and confetti uh, foil on it. So that was my little order from Simply Gilded. I got a tiny little order from Sadie's Stickers. This is from her like um, normal range, not her $2 Tuesdays. I just wanted to pick up a couple of things to try them out. And I got some free bow headers, this gold set, this rose gold set I think. And then this set on white instead of clear. So they're like white with gold headers. So those are my freebies. And then I also got these um, date numbers. They got hearts on them but I mostly just wanted it because I really liked the um, serif kind of dates that she's got going here. I remember Andrea mentioning that 
from SPC, so I wanted to pick some up as well. They just happen to be heart shaped, but um, they're unclear, so it doesn't really matter. So I got gold and silver those. And then I got some gold and silver full box overlays, this confetti burst one. Just something simple, and then these really simple, pretty sparkles that just go across. Love those, just for a little touch. So that was my tiny little normal Sadie's stickies, Stady, Sadie's stickers order. These should still be in the shop, just in the normal foil section. I did get a pen from Villa Beautiful. She restocked this one called Love Spell, and it is sort of a pink, purple, rose gold pen. It's super beautiful. It is like they have a really nice weight to them, and just really pretty sparkly gems and they come with a black gel ink and you get a refill as well it's a really nice gel ink so yeah really happy with this I probably won't buy too many I was looking at the purple go wild ones but they had like hashtag llama or something on them and I don't I'm not a fan of llamas I'm an alpaca girl all the way they're so much cuter than llamas <laughs> so <laughs> I didn't want to pick up a purple one that said llama on it so I'm gonna wait until there's a really good purple one without that but yeah I just really liked this one as well so I picked that up from Villa Beautiful. So we have some more foil here from Clever Girl Craft Heart, um, Clever Girl Crafts and these are all just classic hearts um, that's what I mostly buy from her. I did get this um, glossy freebie with these non-foiled bow flags really pretty but yeah, I just got a bunch of classic cards from her new like spring range as well as some that I needed to restock. So I needed a new gold Dorothy and I just, I love this. Like this is just, I highly recommend a Dorothy sheet first off because you can get so much use out of all of these colors and you get plenty of hot pink. And her orders come with these sheets between them so that um, in transit the foil won't mess up. So this one is May Flowers in gold. So you get really pretty purples and some greens. Super duper pretty. You know I got all the purpley ones. Um, I got April Showers in silver. I've been needing some more like greys and blues in my collection so these would be perfect. Love that. Really soft. Then I'm pretty sure I got gold and silver in all of them, so they'll be all mixed in here. I got sprout because it just didn't have that many greens, and it was cool that just a sheet of greens and this is silver. And you get a whole bunch of different kinds of greens here. And you just never know when you need a green. <laughs> and this is sprout in gold. The foil definitely changes the look of the shades as well, which is interesting. Um, I got a silver in Sugar Rush, which is a bit like Millie, um, just a really good staple pastels sheet. Love that. Love this sort of um, this lilac shade of purple and the baby blue. Then we have made flowers in silver. That looks really good in silver. Love these rich purples. I got April showers in gold. I think these are all of my doubles now. We have Sorbet as well in silver. I really liked this color combo as well with this sort of coral and peach. And then really light mint. And then... Come on. Come on. <laughs> we have Sorbet in gold. And we have... Sugar Rush in gold. So that is my order from Clever Girl Crafts and her new spring colorway. Definitely check them out. I think it's still all up there, but super pretty colors and they're usually limited, so definitely check those out. Next, I have a single order from Cross Press of a full kit. It's called Home from Disney, and I really liked it as sort of you use this after you get home from Disneyland, so you use like a Disneyland kit when you're there and then you can use this to prolong the magic. 
Um, and I'm planning to go to Disneyland this year, so I do want to use this after I get home. But it comes with the date numbers that match. I added on the glitter headers because it is very um, unique color scheme. And then this is the freebie I got. It will focus. Just some cute little um, like bucket list things to do. So this is the kit, once again drawn by one of my favorite artists for Caress Press. She's like their exclusive artist. Um, and so stupid duper pretty. I just love like, yeah, all the things you bring home from Disneyland and decorate your house with. The um, sort of almost limey yellow is super like different and interesting as well. It's just not a usual color scheme you see for Disney. But it does play into the whole red, black, and yellow. Then you got the blue and pink. Love these patterns. I did the full kit because after using a few minis, I realized just not enough stickers for me. Um, I love this bottom washi, and I really want to use this pin board as well. Um, yeah, so I really like Caress Press's full kits. I get a lot of use out of them, and she has a lot of like, I don't know interesting stickers like this side by one here which you can do for like spending or uh, words or um, uh, steps things like that so yeah I'm really excited to use this later on this year so this is Carouse Press so I got a couple of um, pre-orders from Glam Planner and of course I had to pick up the exclusive set that I drew for her she just did this as a pre-order um, and it was Greek mythology themed, so I really like the way she put it together, and yeah, pretty happy with it. So to show you, it's just the full, like the ultimate kit. I like all these squared boxes she's put in. I think she's reformatted since this, though. I'm pretty sure, but um, yeah, I didn't mind her version of this at all. Plus, <laughs> it was my exclusive, so. I had to pick it up, couldn't get it anywhere else. I picked up the extras, we got the glitter headers included, this little freebie, got the double box, which I didn't really use, um, but I also picked up the toolboxes of like the Artemis girl that I did. So that was the first pre-order kit that I did, I was super happy with it. And I won't open it up, but um, I also picked this one up in the same pre-order. It is gorgeous. I love the way this artist, it's just really detailed and really solid looking, um, the drawings. So I thought this was gorgeous. And I also picked up the extra girls because they're super duper pretty. I could probably trim them down if I wanted or use them sidebar or whatever. But yeah, I thought this kit was gorgeous. I had to pick it up. So that was my order from Glam Planner. Of course the only stuff left for this haul is Scribble Prints Co. So I'm going to go through my piles of stuff here and just show you what I have in my piles one at a time. Um, I got this little freebie, foil free, this is to infinity and beyond. She just includes those full boxes in there. I also finally picked up the Magic Enamel Pin, just as black on the back. Super duper cute. I just it was about time for me to pick this one up. I also finally picked up this little Andrea vinyl sticker of her as a munchkin. So cute. I love Andrea, so <laughs> I had to pick it up. It's just too adorable. Then, I got a whole bunch of foil here we'll go through first. So I picked up the new Deco um, line bows. So these are just little cut out bows and I got them in the three foils because you can just pick three so um to have all three so that's what I usually do the first time I buy her new foils and then I'll just pick up ones that I use more often um but yeah I just I really love this bow so I had to pick that up and then she brought out the aligned bow in headers which I got in with I got in it as a freebie one time during a special sale and I use them and I really like the way they look, so I picked up a set of those, just really pretty bow headers. I also picked up the bottom washi overlays as well, 
just a bit more of a subtle, um, simpler bow. So it's really nice. Just all three. I got two more little freebies here. Follow your dreams and find a happily ever after. Both in silver. Then I got some the little tiny star deco pieces. They're all just individual stars. So cute. I've been loving putting these up the top of my spreads. They're just or on clip art or icons. They're just perfect. I also picked up the sort of star, little star um, over uh, header overlays. And I picked up an extra gold and silver because I knew I'd use a lot of them. Um, but I just love the little stars. They're just, I just am loving star overlays with foil because they're just so dainty and pretty. Then I restocked on some scripts, so I got um, these sort of payday bill ones in silver and gold because I was almost out of them. And then I bought this set of the planner ones, not realizing I'd already bought them. So I got an extra set of those, but I really do like using the plan next week in planning time and stuff, so happy to have those little scripts. I also picked up this sheet of Disney uh, places. So we're going to Disneyland, so you use Disneyland and California Adventure. Um, and I just really love the snacks as well, just to pick up and have in my collection. Then I got some full box overlays of our new ones. So I got the set of polka dots. Really cute, and I like how they're not like too intrusive on the stickers. And I also restocked two of my splatters as well, because I like the way the splatters looked. And I used them all up. I've also got this freebie time to party and somehow I have four 75 plus freebies in hollow. I don't know how, I don't know how that happened. Um, <laughs> oh dear. But um, it's just a really nice selection of um, goodies in the hollow. So speaking of hollow, I've also got a few of the um, wiggle bundles that she put up in the shop. And she had hollow available, so I just picked up an extra hollow to have. And these are old um, wiggle bundles, but yeah, I never, uh, I really wanted some more hollow, so I picked that up. Also, a couple that I didn't have that I didn't buy previously, um, like this orange soda one. And you can see like the pixely hollow goodness in that orange there. So I picked up a set of that as well as a set of the blue raspberry. I'm trying to branch out and use more colorful foils so it'll be good to have these in my collection. I also picked up two it's two bundles of her new like um, non overlay foil. So it's really really pretty like vinyl -y, matte smooth paper. And this is a periwinkle with hollow and it matches the kit coming up soon which I think you guys will definitely be excited for. It's super adorable, <laughs> if I do say so myself. Um, so I picked up two of those to go with that, and then um, I feel like periwinkle's been, or purple has been very popular lately, uh, as is hollow, so super excited to have this. And just super pretty. I love that. Definitely worth trying out these solid wiggles. They're just super fun. I think we finished the foil and now I've got some multicolor. They brought out some marble multicolor where it's like marble but with gold, silver, rose gold and just plain. So I got some solid fancy labels, hard labels, quarter labels, oh, these really cute um, iced coffees which I just adore the um, design of so I'm really happy to use those. And yes, that's what I got from the Marble Multicolor. So now for some kits. So I opened up the April Mystery, so you guys can see. Um, but I get the Ultimate, which gets all the extras, and it's definitely worth the cost um, of one Ultimate kit. You get tons of stuff. So we got this really cute um, glittery purple vinyl bow. This is a freebie that comes with the kit, usually. And we got like a whole wiggle of foil here. So let me just try and get it out of here. Okay. Out to go fashion girls. Out to go. Alright. And it is gorgeous. Look at this foil. It's got pink 
purple and hollow pixie dust and it's got like the twinkle headers twinkle full boxes a different bow overlay and just isn't that gorgeous like it kills me and Andrea said it'd be perfect to go with the Merbabe kit which I also have here and I'm definitely pairing it with that it's just oh stunning I think there might still be some bundles in the shop I definitely go check it out if you're interested because this is gorgeous so super pretty having these wiggles in the mystery but this mystery is um, like a planner girl slumber party theme and it's just super pretty sleeping over and planning and having pizza and popcorn perfect I was so annoyed because I pre-planned all my weeks here and um, and I realized I could have used this while I was here to like have a sleepover with Steph because we are planning buddies because I infected her at work <laughs> with the planning bug pose before bros um, but of course I've already put the stickers down so I guess none um, but I'll find a time to use it it's super duper pretty love these colors they're, they're different than usual which is nice but this is the ultimate kit if you haven't seen it before yeah super love it oh and the gold glitter headers but yeah I really love this kit I don't know it speaks to me I definitely want to have like a just a planning slumber sesh one day <laughs> Um, but that is the April mystery and all the goodies that come with it. So now I'll just show you some other kits that I got. So I put, picked up um, the Always kit, which is like a wedding kit, um, because my friend Steph, who I talk about a lot, she's Addy.plans on Instagram, but she is engaged and she'll be getting married next year. So I wanted to pick this up to um, celebrate that. And I thought this was a really, really pretty wedding kit. So I picked this one up. Of course, I picked up Merbabe from my Beach Please art. And I just love the way she did it. And she pulled out this sort of the tile pad in here. And she added glitter. And it's just super pretty. I think this gray-haired mermaid was very popular in all the sets. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to use this in the summer with the April Mystery Foil. Oh, I also picked up the Tall Fashion Girls, uh, just they came out so beautiful and Andrea changed all the hair colors herself and they look amazing. This is definitely like supposed to be Emily, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> um, so yeah, I love the way that came out and everyone did such good jobs with this art. I was very happy with it. I also picked up Strawberry, just something pretty and pink and I love polka dots. So I had to pick this up for sort of an everyday summery kit. I just love the pink. I also picked up Sunshine. I love this artist as well. We're kind of friends on Instagram, Alita Designs. She is awesome and I believe she's going to the party in Austin. So it'd be awesome to meet her but I'm going to be using this in summer as well. Just the pretty sort of preppy green with the pinks and reds. And finally, I picked up, what was this one called? Wonderlust. And I usually don't pick up travel kits these days, but this one is like European themed, Europe themed. And because now I'm like, well, not right now, but I'm living, moved to Europe. So I thought this would be perfect for like a week. Then I might go check out some European places, other cities and stuff. So yeah, I want to pick it up for that week. And I think it's super duper pretty, so... I just love it sort of focus on Europe. So yeah, that was everything I got in this haul. If you liked it, don't forget to give you a big thumbs up. Sorry about this weird angle and my hands. Um, but yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos. I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you next time. Bye!